What is going on, YouTube? I'm going to be and today we have upsets that happen in week nine in college football. There's quite a few of them, so let's get started with the upset number one. Upset number one, we had the we had the South Carolina and Missouri Tigers going at it. The final score is Missouri 23, South Carolina 10. With prior to this matchup, South Carolina Warrior was ranked number 25 in the nation and suffered their third loss overall of the season. Missouri final score 23 to 10. Running Cook from Missouri, 17 to 26, 20 to 24 yards, no touchdown pass, no interceptions. But the rush, the running game from Missouri took over. Cook, 53 yards with a touchdown. Uh, Cody Schrader with 22 carries, 81 yards, 3.7 average, and a touchdown on the ground for him. And guessing the, the field goal team uh, was three for four. Harrison Mevis with 50 is his long, which is not bad for him. Missed one, could have been 26 to 10, but you know, it is what it is for Missouri. But, anyways. Spencer Rattler had a looks like had an okay game against Missouri, 20 for 30, 171 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. He saw the running game was Rattler only had an only touch from him with negative two yards with eight carries. And the receiving game, he spread the ball around, but no one really took charge trying to get open, but by the looks of it, they will get me open, but not many um, score opportunities for South Carolina as they fall to Missouri 23 to 10. Now, South Carolina is, not, is falling to on rank. Now, there is a huge one. I see this part of the upset of the week right here Oklahoma State Cowboys and Kansas State Wildcats. Part of this game, Oklahoma State was ranked ninth in the country, and Kansas State was 22. Now, Oklahoma State jumped nine spots while Kansas State went up nine spots and in 48 to nothing. Oklahoma State was shut down. They went had to use two different quarterbacks, Sanders and Gundy, which by a total of 15 completions out of 33 attempts, 163 yards, and two interceptions. And very good for Oklahoma State running. Game did not got anything going against the tough Kansas State defense. And they had a trouble getting open as well. But Kansas State, Will Howard, 21 on the 37, 296 yards, just four yards shy of 300 yards passing, four touch, four touchdowns. Um, their running game was on top as well with Vaughn, 158 yards, a touchdown. AJ Giddens, 44 yards, a touchdown. And the receiving, uh, Werner have a total of five receptions, 197 yards, 97 yards, two touchdowns with an average 19.4. Philip Brooks, the third, two receptions, 41 yards, 21 and a half, and it's reception touchdown. Bond oh, also added touchdown receiving to his total. And Malik knows, got any, got any touchdowns, but 113 yards, eight receptions. And Kansas State to win 48 to nothing, giving Oklahoma State Cowboys their second loss of the season. Should have them jump nine spots while well, they jumped up nine spots. Both of them are 62. Where we're having the final weeks of college football. Now let's get to rank fours in Louisville. Another huge upset 48 to 21, the final. Rank fours, pro this game was ranked 10th. They dropped 10 spots. In a loss to Louisville 48 to 21. Let's look at week four stats. Sam Hummond, 20 out of 35, 2071, a touchdown and three interceptions. Mitch Griffiths, six for nine, 39 total passing yards, a touchdown and an interception. So it looks at like the offense struggled. The quarterback struggled, but even the guys didn't show it. This the interception, a total down turnovers. So the running game had a trouble with the when they were running backs and fullbacks. You see, the receivers had didn't have a tough time in open, but can't find the back of the end zone for them as well. And so for Louisville's sake, um, they used three different quarterbacks, which is by the by the coach. 
Um, or Brandon Smith got a touchdown. They probably use a couple of wildcat plays. Uh, the running game was three touches from, from the running game. And they added a reception from the receiving game as well as Louisville wins, 48 to 21. Let's go to upset number four. Upset number four was between USC of Knights and CC Bearcats. It's very close, 25 to 21. Since he was ranked 20 heading to this game, now with the loss to UCFF, they lost the ranking, and UCF is now ranked 25th in the country. They took over South Carolina spot, and spent Bradford, Cincinnati, struggle on the day, 25 to 45, 298 yards, a touchdown. When the running game, Ryan Montgomery, Struggled on the ground, along with Charles McClellan and Ben Bryant. Four carries, negative 41 yards, negative 10.2. That's 91 from your running game at all, even though it's your quarterback. Uh, Trey Tucker, 110 yards. So his average of 10 receptions, Sal Scott. Whatever would have passed the ball around, but wasn't enough as UCF used Two of them are quarterbacks. Uh, Mikey Nemi and John Reese Pamali. The running game was served really well. Executed 84 yards on 18 carries, 4.7 yards. Two touchdowns, Isaiah Browser, 14 carries, 58 yards. A, a rushing touchdown as well for him. The receiving core found ways to get it open as they beat upset in Cincinnati, 25 to 21. Yes, I know. The team was ranked 20th in the animation. They lost. They lost a spot. As new teams are coming in, UCF was one of the new teams that got into the top 25. That video will be coming out later as well, along with the AP polls as well, which it's confusing as well because the top 25 AP playoff poll is two different concepts about who is going to get in the playoffs and who's going to Fall out, but no game and Syracuse. No game in Syracuse. I'm feeling this was, if I remember correctly, I believe this was my one of my predictions. I know they will upset Syracuse. Heck in this game, Syracuse was ranked 16th in the country. With the loss, he dropped six spots, dropped to number 22. I think they should have lost the ranking to Notre Dame, but they lost to Notre Dame, but. They drop six spots down the ring 22. If they lose again, they will be unranked. All right, so let's go to the no name stats. The Panthers game, Drew Payne, 9 for 19, 116 yards, a touch and an interception. The running game was for, for them. 20 carries, 123 yards, 6.2 is the average. Two rushing touchdowns along with Logan Diggs. And an 85 yards of his own with 4.2 is average. And a rushing touch on as well. There's feeling core. Had a trouble time game open, but it was their defense that got the job done as they for forced turnovers as they went on to win B Syracuse 41 to 24. So it feels like there's been a lot of upsets in the past few weeks. This week we had a total of Five upsets with the Kansas State and Oklahoma State University was the most upset of the week, I think. Bought by Notre Dame Syracuse, Cincinnati UCF, and Missouri and South Carolina. So that's my rankings. I believe that Kansas State was uh, up by upset Oklahoma State University. They was the upset of the week. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. I will see you out in the next video, which I'll be talking about the top 25 and uh, two separate videos. Top 25 AP polls at the top four. Who is on a verge of making it to the top in the college playoffs and who has a verge who might push the subway and who might fall off. Stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you out in the next video. Deuces.